hello my beloved students good afternoon i hope you are all doing well uh, so we've finished uh, the chapter that is talking about exponents scientific notation and how to use the calculator to make uh, calculations on scientific notation also how to convert back and forth from standards to uh, scientific notation also operations addition multiplication subtraction and division I hope the activities that we had so far are enough for you to understand that. Uh, so uh, today I'm going to start a new topic. So we are moving back to geometry. So uh, the chapter's name is Angle Theorems for Triangles. So we are, we are going to be dealing with triangles. Now look at this triangle guys. Suppose I'm going to take this triangle and cut all of these three angles after I cut them if I add them all together next to each other a and b and c what do you see about this angle what is this I mean what is the sum of b plus a plus c it is this total angle so they add up to a straight angle we call this angle a straight angle from here to here so what is the definition of straight angle? Basically, the straight angle is the angle that measures 280 degrees. Now, the triangle sum theorem, okay, it says that the sum of the angles inside the triangle is 180. So the angle F plus the angle D plus the angle E is equal to 180 degrees. How can I find the angle A. Which equation can help us to find the measure of the angle E? So which one of these? Of course, we said measure of E plus the measure of D plus the measure of F is 180. Also, we say the measure of E plus 100 plus 55 equals 180. So this one is the correct equation. So using this equation, we can find the measure of the angle E. Okay, now a question. Can a triangle have two right angles? Yes or no? Let's see and explain this. So suppose I'm drawing here a triangle and I make two angles of it that are 90 degrees right angles, AB. So if I have two angles that are 90, means these two lines are parallel so they don't meet at point c there is no point c we are asking where is c so it is impossible to have a triangle that has two right angles it's not possible why again because if this is 90 and this is 90 then what will be the measure of the other angle let's make it from the sum of angles inside the triangle suppose this is true so we will have 90 plus 90 is equal already 180 so this angle is zero which is impossible so we don't have zero angle in a triangle all right now this is a proof of the sum of the angles inside the triangle that are equal to 180 let's now let's recall back parallel lines cut by transversal we are going to use that property to show that, in fact, yes, the angles inside the triangle are equal to 180 degrees. So first, I have my triangle here. It has three angles, one, two, and three. What I'm going to do first, I'm drawing two parallel lines, A and B. Okay, A passes through the base of my triangle, and B passes through the a point here and B is parallel to A that's the first step now the second step look at these lines here okay I will extend them make extension okay I will call this line here s and the other one I extend it and I will call it T okay now look at this shape I have two parallel lines with transversal I have S as transversal 
and I has T I have T as transversal. Why it is transversal? Because it transverses or it cuts these two lines. Okay, coming from here, going there. That's for S, and the same thing for T. Now I'm going to use this property to prove that the sum of the angles inside the triangle is 180 degrees. Now look at the angle 4 and 2. Okay, they are alternate interior angles. I'm using these two parallel lines and this transversal, the transversal T. So 4 and 2 are internal, means they are between two parallel lines and they are alternate, one from the left of my transversal and the other one is from the right of my transversal. And we said that in this case, from the parallel lines and transversal, that 4 and 2 will be congruent. What does congruent mean? It means the measure of 4 is equal to the measure of 2. Now, the same thing for angle 5 and 3. Look, if I'm using my transversal to be the line S, so 5 and 3 are internal because they, uh, they are between the two parallel lines, as usual. And one of them is on the right of the transversal, and the other one is on the left of the transversal. So they are alternate interior angles. And we said that alternate interior angles are congruent. What does congruent mean again? means the angle 5 has the same measure as the angle 3. Okay, 5 and 3 are congruent, and 4 and 2 are congruent. Very good. So since 4 is equal to 2, so I can replace 4 with 2 because they are equal. So I would say 4 is equal to 2. Also, we said that 5 is congruent with 3, so I would replace 5 with 3 because they have the same measure. Now, look at these three angles. 4 and 1 and 5. Their sum is 180 degrees. Why? Because they make up what? A straight angle that is 180 degrees straight line. 4 plus 1 plus 5, okay, will be equal to 180 degrees. Very good. Now, since 4 is equal to 2, I will replace the angle 4 with the angle 2. And 5 is equal to 3, then I will replace in my equation 5 with 3. Now look at this final equation, where it says the measure of 1 plus the measure of 2 plus the measure of 3 is equal to 180 degrees. What is this? This is the sum of angles inside my triangle. This is 1 and 2 and 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So you see, we use parallel lines and transversal to prove that the sum of angles inside my triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Very good. Now let's solve this example together. So I'm looking for the uh, missing angle measure, which is the angle E. What I'm going to do is simply using the sum theorem of triangle angles. So I will say the measure of D plus the measure of E plus the measure of F equals 180 degrees. Okay. Now I'll substitute the corresponding values with uh, the angles. So the measure of D is 100 degrees. Okay. The measure of F is 55 degrees. And I'm looking for the angle E. So 55 plus E plus 100 is equal 180. Now consider this as a simple equation. How to find the measure of E? Simply, you will add 55 plus 100, that is 155. Okay. Now, you subtract 125 from this side and 125 from this side. So, 155 minus 155 gives you 0. So, you will have from this side ME, which is equal to 180 minus 155, okay, which is 25 degrees. So, the measure of E is 25 degrees. Okay, if you want to check this, you add 25 plus 55 plus 100, then this sums up to 180 degrees. Okay, now this is your turn. I want you to find in this example the angle K and here the angle R. So stop the video here 
and try your answer. After you finish, play the video to check my answer. So, okay, k is 53. You set up your equation. 75 plus 56 plus mk equals 180. You simplify your equation and you are supposed to get 53 degrees. The same thing for here. 29 plus 61 plus the measure of r gives you 180. You rearrange your equation, okay, and your r will be 180 minus 29 minus 61, which is 90 degrees. So this triangle has a right angle here at r, which means this triangle is called a right triangle. Why it's called a right triangle? Because it has 90 degrees angle. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, today's uh, session and see you tomorrow. Bye.